taking care of your health while you build your bookkeeping business. And we're talking also about, obviously, when you're taking care of your health, you're taking care of your body. Hi, I'm Kimberly Elizabeth, and I would like to welcome you, or welcome you back to Bookkeeping Journey. Today's video is all about your body and your health. And now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, she's not telling me anything about bookkeeping, but it is for you, bookkeepers. Because I suffer with this when I first started out in my bookkeeping business. Now, what am I going to talk to you about today? We're going to talk about your computer, how far it is from you. We're going to talk about your posture, about stretching, about everything that you are doing on a daily basis and that you should be more aware of on a daily basis while you are building your bookkeeping business. Now, first, let's start with the computer. Computer. Make sure that your computer is not right to your face and the screen is not ridiculously bright because you're sitting there and you're staring at that screen and you're damaging your eyes, right? And you don't want to do that. Because I, I, when I was younger, I didn't know about the ergonomics and stuff like that when it comes to computer and the distance and all that. And I used to go to work. I had a job my first first job and I used to come home with tears that like I couldn't open my eyes because my eyes were completely watering because I had the computer screen the screen light too high I wasn't sitting at my computer desk properly you know because I wasn't I wasn't knowledgeable so I know there are a lot of you that don't think of these things so that is why I'm telling you today so go make sure that you go online and you look up how to set up your workspace ergonomically Look on YouTube, there are a lot of videos out there that will show you. I probably might do another video and show you pictures as to how it's supposed to be set up. But make sure that your computer screen is not too um, direct in your face and that you are looking straight so you don't have to look down. You know, you're, you're, uh, you are eye level with your computer. Right? So you want to be eye level. Like, how am I level looking at you right now? That's how you want it to be because you don't, if you're looking down, if you are not sitting up in a, in a, in the right position, you will damage some part of you. Your neck is going to get strained from looking down all the time. You know, something is going to happen and you, you want to make sure that you don't only push your business, push your business, push your business, but you're continuously taking care of your health and being aware next thing so go look that up the next thing that you want to do is watch watch your posture how are you sitting in your chair are you sitting like this are you sitting like this if your shoulder is back yes I am a downfall for this because I have a bad slouch but at the same time I am aware of it so when I catch myself slouching too much I will make sure that I correct it Right? And I'm not perfect at it, but at the same time, I know that I should do it. And there are some of you that might hear this video and might be like, wow, I didn't even think about that. And this is for you and for you too that know about it and you, you, know, you probably continue to ignore it. Make sure that you check that and make sure that you are listening to your body when it says, ow, I am in pain, I'm being strained. Because another thing that I want to talk about is the chair that you're sitting in. Now, I don't have an ergonomical chair, but that's something that I will invest in. In the meantime, I make the chair that I'm sitting in comfortable enough so that I can sit in it for a good while before, you know, I get up or anything like that. So what initially, when I first started out using this chair... I would put a little cushion behind my back to make sure that I get the support. Now, I think my body is, has adjusted to the chair and vice versa. Uh, but I still make sure that I sit properly in my chair. So watch how you're sitting in your chair. Make sure that you set up that chair that you are using probably in your house or whatever. Um, that it supports you and not that you are slouching to it. Right? Just make sure that you are watching that. And one thing too that I know a lot of you would have done this while being quarantined is not getting up regularly 
to go probably grab a glass of water, probably go just go and stretch your legs. You might just be sitting there for long periods of time. Now, I was lucky in the sense that I had my sister, God bless her, I had my sister that always would call me and tell me, come look at this, come and help me with that. So I had no choice but to be getting up all the time so I didn't have to think about it. And what I didn't do is I did not bring food at my desk. I did not bring my water or anything like that. So I actually have a cup in my fridge that is full of water that I make sure that I go. I have to get up when I'm thirsty and I go and drink it. And after a couple of hours and I recognize that I haven't drank any water for a certain amount of time, I make sure I go and I get some water in my body. So you make sure that you don't set up every, everything that you're there so you don't have to move. You have your snacks there, you have your drinks there, and you're just eating a fast and you're not moving because that's not good for your body. You still, have, you still have to stretch, right? Another thing that you want to do too is make sure that you're going out every single day at least to get 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes of sunlight and even if, because I obviously I'm from the Caribbean, so you might be from a country that you probably get rain a lot. Still go outside and get some fresh air. Don't just sit down in your house and stay at that computer with that, you know, and you probably have bad lighting. So make sure that your lighting in your room, that you're working with your computer is good lighting and that it supports you with you working with your computer so you don't want to work but I don't ever work with my or if my lights completely off and then I'm looking at come to the screen that will damage your eyes I'm sure of that make sure that the lighting in your room is good make sure that your computer lighting is good and everything corresponds perfectly if nothing is perfect but at least good enough that you can work and be comfortable before I end this video today, I was that's all on desktop that I was talking about. But I want you guys that work from a laptop, get a desk and work from your desk with your laptop. Do not put that laptop on your body, on your lap, on your stomach. I don't care. Don't rest it nowhere on your body because laptops get really hot and you can go online and look at the dangers of when a laptop gets ridiculously hot and it stays on your body right but set your laptop on your desk like if it is a desktop and do not look to move with it and you're working in your living room with your laptop on your lap and then you're working as well and you're looking down like that for long periods of time that's not that's no good I really hope that you take these tips and you listen and you do and you do become aware in taking care of your health of your body. Get yeah, even if on the morning as well before you start your day, do a little exercising routine. Get a little exercising in. I don't. Do, I'm not like a massive exerciser. Well, exerciser. So I am not someone that's huge on exercise. So I'll get up. I'll do my 50 second plank and then I'll do between 10 to 17 burpees and I'm done for the day. Yesterday, yes, I went running, but you know, that's what I do every single day. I just, I just do 50 second plank and burpees and that's it. So, you know, you want to make sure you're still taking care of your body, although you are sitting at your desk because as bookkeepers, as virtual bookkeepers and you're working from your home. I know that you can set at your desk where you don't have to move. Do not do that. You want to keep moving. You want to keep and make sure you're stretching. There are stretches that you can actually do while you sit in your chair. Go look those up. <laughs> All right. Just go, take care of your health. Take care of your body. I want you to be around for a very long time. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Press that notification bell. And give this video a thumbs up. In the comment section below, I want to hear what bad habits do you have when you are sitting at your computer desk and you are working. And I, along with that, I would love to hear what you plan to improve 
since you watched this video. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!